He remember. He woke me outside after an hour interview and was like, yo, son, between me and you, I seen Spence uh, knock, knock out uh, Jamal Charlo. And I'm not supposed to report that? There's no between me and you. I don't have no alliance with you, homeboy. Thanks for the information. But you said it live on air. The CBT cash, you boxing talk, man. I'm here to report the news. This is my, my job. Like, you did? Like, my hobby. Like, I don't know where I'm driving. I got a destination, but let me pull over for a second, man. Because I'm like, you know what I mean? I wanted to see the way, bully, man. Let me turn the camera around. Like, you know, like, I, I wanted to see the way, bully, man. You heard? Like, the sun is crazy right now. The sun is hot out here, man. Wanted to see the way, bully. Be like, I wanted that work, son. But like I told y'all dudes, man, you know, people talk, like, I know, I, I I got good intuition, man. You feel me? I knew that these dudes wasn't going to, you know, be favorable on my presence. You know what I mean? Because of what I did the, the four times that I went in there. All I did was speak the truth, people. Real talk. Go check the interview, man, on the page, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I did was tell the truth, man. You know, and it's a shame. But I, I really want to see the way Bully, I want to see him person to person. I got to go to the fight and, and, and let it be known who I be because he know. Obviously, they know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I want to clarify everything, man. Because even in those videos, I was like, yo, the, the, the coaches at the gym, I know, they was good money with me. They was answering questions. They knew I was recording. You know what I'm saying? I asked the dude, do he want to spar? I asked the homie, Spence homie, did he want to spar? I asked the heavyweight in there, did he want to spar? I told the heavyweight, I put hands on him. That's all in the interview. That's all on the page, man. I told him. I want that work too. It's because you a heavyweight don't mean nothing, B. You fat. You about 350. I'm slim. I'm going I'm to box your ears out. And I may stop you when I go to the body because your boy got stink on those. <laughs> I got leather. You dig me? So, you heard? And so, in the interview, I was like, yo... After the fact, I was like, yo, those, those dudes gave me the interview. It was nothing but love, respect. Remind you, I went there four times. So that means the first time, I was asking tough questions. Dude, I said, yo, I'll be back tomorrow. If the white bully going to be here, I want to see if he's going to be here tomorrow. Go back the next day. Boom, he wasn't there. They still was giving me love. The third time, boom, still giving me love. The fourth time was good, but the dialogue switched a little bit because they was like, yo, um, they put a sign up saying, Nobody can come in, you know what I mean, and do interviews because, you know, because of what I did. And I think I posted a video prior to the fourth time. You understand me? Because they seen it. And they was like, yeah, we seen that interview you did. And they wasn't liking it. But I was in there. But after that fourth time, I knew it was going to be contention. But I, I also said in the interview, and in in I said, yo, they showed me love. It was respectful. But I guess they didn't like that last part when that dude walked me outside and told me the inside scoop on the way Bully Spence. They didn't, you know what I mean? But that's favorable for the way Bully. If you knocked out Charlie when sparring, it's all good. The people want to know. You can't conceal this information. Now, you may not say it because it's a it's an unspoken rule that you don't speak upon what happens in sparring. Cool. But if a dude like me that's just talking boxing... I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to let it be known to the people. I'm not going to be holding information. That's not what I do. So, hey, did I burn the bridge over here? Yeah. Do I still want that work with the weight bully? Yeah. Only way I'm going to get that work with the weight bully now is if I meet him in a space where, you know, people are asking questions and I'm there. So, I got to get to the fights, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I can imagine if I run down on Charlo and those dudes, them dudes is reckless. You understand me? So... You can imagine how they're going to try to treat your boy CBT, man. You know what I mean? You're going to do me like that, B, like you did, but you know I ain't no sucker. <laughs> I understand. I'm here to ask you questions. But you can respectfully say no comment. You can respectfully say I ain't rocking with you. You can say it in an aggressive way, but long as it's not aggressive where it's like calling me out my name. You know what I mean? Calling me all kind of suckers and things of that nature. So now you, you questioning my manhood. Now I want to respond and give you that work. That's a different story. But you can tell me, get up out my face and all that. That's cool. I'm with that. You understand me? Because uh, that's what it is, man. But when you ask a tough question, this is what happens, man. Now I'm waiting. Can't wait for my boy Sean Porter to damage this dude, man. I'm going to go to Sean Porter gym, man. And, and, you know, get a good interview, man. Let it be known who I be. Let it be known what I do. Let it be known that the way Blue Spence don't like me and the reason why. Get you get his input on did I do something wrong. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have anybody in the gym that you don't trust that will go and tell the pe people business. Now, I know that rumor got to be true because they really angry about that, man. Just because I call him the weight bully, they can't be mad about that. Just because I call him, you know, 
but I call him the way bully. I, I don't call him out his name. I call him what he is. They mad about that part where I released that information on that Spanish dude. Now, he's probably banned from the gym. They probably gave him a lashing or something. They probably sent him back to Mexico. We don't know what they did to that dude. You smell me? But I'm happy I ain't opened the door. Because if he wasn't dead, I would have opened the door. You know what I mean? I probably would have got some more blowbacks, some more pushbacks, some unnecessary contact, some unnecessary talking, and I'm not with that. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to cause confusion. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So, look. I'm still going to ask the tough questions. I'm still going to uh, run down the way Bully Spitz. I still want that work. I'm still going to uh, do what I promised my, my peoples, my peoples that rock with me on YouTube is go to these interviews and ask tough questions, man, because these dudes ain't doing it, man. You heard? Now, you know, we're about to go get something to eat, man. You heard? We're going to get something to eat and chill because, I, I you know, I really wanted to see if I was going to get that interview for the peoples, man. I did like four videos leading up to this joint. Like, yeah, I'm going to the way Bully Spitz gym right now. But at least y'all know I'm real talk, though. At least y'all know I ain't about that, I man. I'm not playing around. Like, one thing I was going to do when I'm, in, when I'm in L.A., I was going to go down to Fred Boxing Gym. That cocksucker barbershop conversation. But I'm looking now and I'm seeing, you know, I must have ruff, ruffled a lot of feathers with my, my YouTube and my commentary. And you dig niggas is not really feeling me in that way, like, you know, trying to do business. And the business is just, comment, you know, having conversations and dialogue on boxing. You know, man, but you know, it is what it is, man. I'm gonna go wherever I wanna go. I'm gonna speak to however I wanna speak. And if you get disrespectful, like that little dude this right there, I'm gonna come at, I'm gonna come at you like you coming at me, man. That, that's all I can say, B. You know what I mean? Like, and then that's where people think that I'm on some gangster talk, and I'm not. All I did was roll up, got my max B popping. You understand me? Jump out. Yo, is the way bully in there? Yo, come on, he ain't in there, you know, talking reckless to your voice. He being taken, he talking crazy to your voice. If that was, look, that's what I'm going to try to tell you. I remember what I tell you, if I was to meet Boxing Eagle, all these other cocksuckers, that's how I'm rolling down. I'm rolling up, like, oh, 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 you listening, you know what I mean? Like, I would say something funny, like, oh, you, nah, so, like, if they interviewing somebody, like, say, Earl Way Bully or Thomas Crawford, and they doing it, I'd be like, say, I would be funny with it, be like, yo, Man, these dudes are asking whack-ass questions. Man, these dudes is fraud. Listen, let me ask you some tough questions. Now, is that disrespectful? I don't think so. I don't think it's disrespectful. If I was there and someone rolled up and said that, I'd look at him like, and I'll keep, my, keep doing what I'm doing. But maybe I'm from New York. Like, we different. Like, I know. Like, yeah, man, we different. New York, right? We that's just how we roll, man. That's just how we do things, B. So maybe that's the problem. You understand me? But I will say this. You know? I will say this, man. Um, I, I wish that was like boxing ego or conversations, dude. You know, with that same energy, that little Spanish dude. I would love it. I, good God. You know what I mean? I would be, woo, Jesus. You smell me. We would get something good on YouTube. We'll have something real to talk about. You smell what I'm saying? YouTube versus the YouTube. Let's see what's shaking, man. Pay a few dollars for that, man. You smell you, but at the end of the day, you rocking with your boy CBT Cash. You boxing talk, man. Listen, I'm leaving them all now. Obviously, I can't get the interview, man. You know, and I really don't want to be in the, you know, in the area where I'm not. But I'm not welcome, you know, because I'm here to do a job, right? So I'm gonna go eat, go back to the hotel, I'm gonna relax and get my chill on, go to the pool, do my little last one too. I'm going to drive back to Florida, man. 20 hours, B, you heard? Four, three months from now, I told you I was coming down here. I don't lie, man. I don't lie. And I will be going to L.A. I'm not lying. I will be out there. I will go to Fred's gym. I know exactly where it's at. I'm not lying. I will go up in there. You understand me? I, I am going up in there. Um, and I will be at the fights, man. We're going to change this channel around. We're going to get some interviews, man. We're going to do something different. And I'm not lying because I tell you and I didn't do it. You understand me? And I'm not here to prove anything, but, you know, your word is everything with anybody and anything that you do. And I want you guys to realize that I'm really CBT. I'm really about that action. I'm really that guy that's not afraid to ask the tough questions, right? You know, someone can take what I just said out of content like I'm a gangster. I'm not gangster at all. It's the New York thing, man. Holla at your boy. Subscribe when you're way in. Subscribe when you're way out. You're rocking with the best, man. This is the reason why you subscribe to this channel, man. Because we do things, you know what I mean? You never know where I'm going to be. I never know what I'm going to do. Holla at uh -huh. Yeah. New media. New respect. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. Uh -huh. It's 
all about can't you back. Back. Just you thought you it's had to figure out. New media, new perspective. Cash and boxing talk.